Promoting responsible use and self-handling of agrochemicals. What are agrochemicals? Agrochemicals are chemical products used by farmers in agricultural production. That is to say, insecticides which kill insects, fungicides which control fungal infections, and herbicides which kill weeds. Before using agrochemicals, scout your garden frequently and be keen on change of events. Use integrated pest management practices such as crop rotation, pruning, improved varieties, and uprooting diseased plants to control pests and diseases. Before deciding to use agrochemicals, choose five locations in your garden, one meter by one meter. If the number of pests in each square meter is less than four, please do not spray. Take a sample of the insect or diseased plant along to the input dealer to know the right chemical. Where to buy? There are many fake agrochemicals on the market. Only buy from a known licensed input dealer. Identifying counterfeits. Every product should be in its original container and should have a label showing instructions on how to use safely. Verify the genuineness of a product by using the Kakasa app on your mobile phone. Safely transport your chemicals to prevent spillage and leakage. Storage. Keep agrochemicals out of reach from children and adults. Do not sleep in the same house with chemicals, especially when the container is open to avoid inhaling. Protective gear. Skin contact and inhaling chemicals will harm you. To avoid it, Please wear appropriate protective gear, an overall, gloves, gumboots, pair of goggles, cape, nose and mouth masks before mixing and using agrochemicals. The label on the container. You must read and understand or get someone to help you read the information on the label on the container before use. The label clearly indicates the re-entry times and pre-harvest period, targeted pests, application rates, types of crops, manufacturing and expiry dates. The level of toxicity indicated by the color codes plus symptoms and first aid when poisoning occurs. Mixing. Fix the appropriate nozzle to avoid wastage of chemicals so as to reduce production costs. Some nozzles are used to spray herbicides while others are for insecticides. Thoroughly mix the chemicals with water outdoors. Make sure there is no leakage. Put water halfway the sprayer. Add the amount of agrochemical as shown on the label of the container. Swirl and top up with water. Close tightly, then swirl. Never mix two different types of agrochemicals unless advised by an expert. The mixture will either be extremely harmful to you and the plants or useless and it does not kill pests at all. Instead, buy a chemical that kills a wide number of pests once in a while. Spraying. With people and animals kept away, spray directly where you need to. Consider the wind direction and weather condition. Don't just spray. Indiscriminate use is a waste of resources. It's harmful to you, livestock and the environment. Plus, pests become resistant to the chemicals. When spraying, Preferably walk one step per second to optimize the rate of spraying your chemicals. Safety while spraying. Do not drink, eat or smoke while spraying. Never walk alone. Do not spray near a water source. Have plenty of water and soap available with you just in case. If you can afford, seek services of the spray service providers. After spraying, Triple rinse and puncture empty containers before disposing them off in a designated place while still in the field. Bury them away from water sources. Clean the knapsack thoroughly and be sure no residue remains. While removing your protective gear, remove your gloves last. Wash the gear with soap and dry them. Wash your body completely with soap. Keep off the sprayed area for at least 12 hours. Do not spray your produce after harvesting unless it's a recommended product. In case you notice symptoms such as dizziness, headache, vomiting, 
blood vision, diarrhea, and breathing difficulty among others, seek medical attention immediately. Benefits of agrochemicals. Agrochemicals increase the quality and quantity of yield, increase profits and eliminate losses, creating a huge difference in your yield from the usual three bags of maize and beans to more than 20 bags in an acre. Herbicides minimize soil disturbance, which conserves your soil. They are faster and cheaper to use. One person can weed or spray two acres in one day. That is impossible with a hand hoe. For more information, get help from an extension worker or a known licensed village agent near you.